Hello and welcome back my beautiful people to the Curtis Price channel, the channel where we can talk about any sort of topic and still manage to make most of you people laugh. My jokes are like being catfished. The setup is good, but the finale is at the bollocks. Catfishing and bollocks. Whatever you do on your date, don't look down. However, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be having a lovely conversation about the one and only Jeffree Star. The question on everyone's mind is, is where is he? Has he pulled a Luke Skywalker and gone into hiding? Well, a bit ironic, you know, welcome back to my channel. Hi, Hi how are you? Welcome back to my channel, Jeffree. Oh, wait, you're not there. Funny, huh? Where the fuck did this come from, eh? Well, apparently he is there, ladies and gentlemen. An apology video has surfaced. Jeffree Star's wonderful comeback. The big horizon of the Sith Lords. Holy crap! I'm just kidding. The apology was shit. <laughs> However, speaking of the recent drama, I've actually already made one video on it, so if you want to go and check that out, be my guest, you can. Go for it, enjoy yourselves. So before we get into today's recent drama, let's quit while we're ahead, pull out early, and give you a backstory. <laughs> That's more than what can be said for my sex life. I have a four-year-old child. Now, I don't actually have a four-year-old child, but please follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I really need followers. <laughs> but listen up everyone, we are on 70,000 subscribers and with your guys' help, we might actually be able to get to 80,000 by the end of this month. I need to prove to my mum that YouTube is a viable thing for me, so please subscribe. <laughs> So a backstory for you all. Around this time last year, Tati Westbrook dropped a big exposed video on James Charles titled By Sister. And in that video, Tati was to accuse the great Jimbo Charles for being a predator towards straight boys. There's no evidence to go off, but apparently according to Tati, she has stacks and stacks of receipts to go off. Just know my receipts my receipts are like stacked thick. Let's just hold on to this statement for a second. But due to Tati's video being released, James Charles lost 1.5 million subscribers in just under 24 hours. Now some would say Tati uploaded the video to promote her poxy vitamins, <laughs> which is actually quite ironic because that was what the first half of the video was about, you see. Uh, Funny who that is, isn't it? Ahem, <clears throat> speaking of vitamins, you can buy my vitamins right now for £22.99 and you'll be stiff as a 2x4 plank of wood for hours. Now we haven't even sold one box of these yet, uh, sometimes people like to refer to them as Viagra. So what are you waiting for? Swipe up because we're almost out of stock. I'm just gonna put these back in the box now. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> and Jeffree Star was also coming out very hard and literally saying James Charles is a predator. In fact, he actually interacted with James Charles' brother on Twitter and this is what he had to say. Why is your brother a predator? Why do you really move back to New York City? Exactly. Shut the F up. However, James Charles did come back with a video of his own and completely debunk the whole of Tati's video. And before you know it, Order 66 happened. <laughs> Also known as Tati's army, completely turned on her and realised she was full of shit. Now leading on from this to about two or three weeks ago, Shane Dawson was actually cancelled. Big time. He was cancelled on social media for his old videos when he was when he was being racist, uh, pretending to make out with a 12 year old child. <laughs> Pedophilia. Comedy. Now while Shane Dawson was getting his ass obliterated by social media, not for the first time, Tati Westbrook came out of the woodworks and dropped a big exposed video on Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson called Breaking My Silence, where she apparently claimed that Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson had forced her into making that big Jimbo Charles video only a year ago. Peer pressure to mm, Peer pressure. Now I know the feeling. I was once held at gunpoint and peer pressured into stripping bollock naked. I did beg the bloke not to pull the trigger, but my dad wasn't having any of it. You remember the statement we were holding on to earlier about how Tati had stacks and stacks of receipts? Well, in her new Expose video she released, she actually said um, that she didn't have any receipts. All she had heard is a voice memo that's somewhere floating about in this magical world of the beauty community and other people's voices. Right. Second hand conversations is what you call that. Sloppy seconds of a conversation. <laughs> Let's not talk about sloppy seconds, right? I'm sensitive about that. I'm just kidding. I've never had sex with a woman before. <laughs> but this is bullshit because in the James Charles video she said something completely different to what she said in the new Exposed video. She went after James Charles and tried to take his career down, but apparently she was peer pressured into it by the big old Shane Dawson and the f***ing selfish c***ed himself. Jeffree Star. You do realise no one can force you to record a video, first of all. That's just plain stupid now. Now, Trisha Paytas actually commented on this as well, and she, uh, you know, she spoke up and said that Tati's video was complete bullshit, and she spoke a lot of common sense in that video, which is very strange for Trisha Paytas. Now, I have to say, everyone, I might just say it, I love Trisha Paytas. <laughs> uh, 
<clears throat> now if you want this summed up, just go to watch my last video, it's literally the link in the description or just go on my channel, you'll be able to find it there. Also, there's a little join button if you want to click it, you know, you become a member of the channel, you get my videos one day early. How exciting is that day? Patricia's also uploaded a new video as well, uh, talking about how uh, apparently Jeffree Stars tried to reach out to Trisha multiple times on multiple occasions to apparently apologise to her. Apologise for what, you might be asking? Well, apparently, everyone, as it goes, Jeffree Star was speaking shit about Trisha Paytas. Apparently, Jeffree Star was speaking to this guy called Tab and speaking the utmost shit about Trisha Paytas, saying that her skin is bad, talking about her weight, just making fun of her in general and just speaking just poor crap. I don't consider Jeffree a close friend because of the stuff I heard. He has reached out and tried to apologize and I feel like his pain I, I I can understand it and I um like I understand it but I'm not really ready to like accept the apology you know what I mean like or at least be friends on that level I don't know because it really did hurt like that trip in Vegas like it's petty shit it really is petty it's like not that big of a deal I just like cried when I came home I was like wow but as you can see you know Trisha Paytas no longer supports Jeffree Star in any way you know they used to be friends and Jeffree Star went behind her back speaking shit you're not gonna want to be friends with that person anymore get out of my life Shoo, shoo. That's what you say if you want to be nice. If you really want some out of your life, you just say fuck off. But now why is Jeffrey reaching out, do you think, to Trisha Paytas? Well, that's because he's alone. He's trying to rebuild friendships with people because he's lost so many others. I mean, who would have thought, you know? You speak shit about your friend and they no longer want to be friends. From the first I viewed it, that's the first person Jeffrey's fucked over. Um, he also fucked over James Charles as well. No, nothing, nothing different here. Hi everyone, I'm on a canoe boat. <laughs> so here we are ready to watch the Jeffree Star apology video live on air. Doing what's right. Yes, Jeffrey. I can I can see right now you're doing what's right. Uh, you start off your video, your apology video, sitting on a, a, a gold wrapped couch. <laughs> wow. You must have so much money, Jeffrey. Maybe you'd like to be friends, Jeffrey. <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, you can see he's really setting the scene for us, you know, he's showing off his mansion, showing how much money he has. Oh, he's very sincere, you know, this apology is going to be a big one. And today, there are no excuses. Um, a year ago, I did a video called Never Doing This Again, and I meant that. And 2020 has been really, really crazy, and I have added to the chaos. When I filmed my video called Never Doing It Again, I meant every word in the video. Did I slip up? Am I human? Have I done some fucked up things? Of course I have. Yes, Jeffrey. Yeah, you have done some fucked up things. <laughs> Darby Vanity, for one. Uh, if you want to go watch a video of mine, it's right here. There's in fact two of them. Uh, you can entertain yourself for hours and hours on end. But Darby Vanity's one fucked up thing you've done. You witnessed a child and you did nothing about it. That's one thing that you've done fucked up. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? That's enough for me to give a fuck. That one situation alone has, has made me dislike Jeffrey completely. My lawyers are entertaining it behind the scenes, but I will not be. I know this may sound shocking coming from my mouth, but when you accept that you are the problem, you can become the solution. And I've definitely put myself in the victim mentality before when I knew I was wrong and maybe, not maybe, I didn't want to admit it, I wasn't ready to and I was too insecure. But today, there are no excuses. I'm someone that has impulse control and I'm fully admitting my flaws and I hope that people can learn from me. I have moments where I get fired up, I don't think things through, I don't think about how my actions will affect others while I'm saying them. The Jeffree Star's matured, he realizes he is the problem and he has impulse control. Well, let's hold him to that, I can't wait for the next time for you to fuck up. Now, I guarantee you that part will be in a video in the future and I'm excited for that. To take anyone down, I'm not a villain in a movie. This isn't a Netflix series with a crazy storyline. I know it sounds like it and trust me, I'm sure I'd watch it as well, but this is my real life and a lot of things that are happening and being said are false. When someone else tries to take someone else down or their career and it doesn't work, you can't just take a few more down with you. That's not how life works. We have to all take accountability for our own actions and no one else's. Now, Jeffrey didn't really, you know, give much detail there what he was talking about. He just said we have to all take accountability for our actions. And what the fuck is that Louis Vuitton slip us? <laughs> you say though that it's your life and that, you know, this is your life, it's not a sitcom or whatever. What about James Charles? You treated that as if it was some sort of fucking film, like as if you were the big supervillain. Oh, sorry, no, you were the hero. That's it. James Charles, the supervillain, the one that didn't do the things that you accused him of. 
I am mind fucked. When you were playing around with James Charles's career, trying to get him cancelled and trying to take him down, isn't it just completely hypocritical what you say? Like, everyone should care about me now. I'm the one that's being cancelled. Everyone's coming after me. My Morphe stuff has been taken off the website. Everyone should feel sorry for me. Is that right, Jeffrey? Huh? Did you think about that when you were taking down someone else's fucking career? Huh? You ignorant slut. <laughs> I didn't mean that, Jeffrey. I'm sorry. Oh, what am I like? I have moments where I get fired up. I don't think things through. I don't think about how my actions will affect others while I'm saying them. Well, you say that, you know, you didn't think before you spoke. Then how do you explain this next thing you're about to say in the apology video? Now, Breonna Taylor still has no justice. Black trans women are being murdered every day and the news is silent. Elijah McClain has no justice and the countless other people who are murdered every single day while everyone just goes about their business like nothing's happening. And I think that drama and the beauty world, which I have definitely been a part of, it all has to stop. Ooh, the reality is you. The reality is you, Jeffrey, that's right. You use all the dangerous things going on in the world right now, everything that's, you know, making our world suffer, Black Lives Matter, all that kind of thing, to shield yourself of what's going on. Hmm. That's actually interesting, Jeffrey, concerning you're talking about taking accountability and all that. You know, taking accountability. Oh, big man Jeffree Star, I've matured. Is that right, Jeffrey? Then why the fuck are you shielding yourself using the Black Lives Matter movement? Mm. It's damage control. Uh, it's exactly what it is, it's damage control. Jeffrey thinks he can hide behind this and shield himself using such a critical matter because he can't own up to his fucked up things and say, look everyone, don't focus on what's happening with me right now. Uh, I'm not important. Focus on all the other bad things. Me, me getting cancelled, my career ending, doesn't matter. Ignore it. <sighs> Protecting yourself, Jeffrey. Uh, get out the fucking shield. I don't think I've ever quite seen a worse apology than this before. Um, actually, rewind that back. Uh, I had to, you know, apologize to my girlfriend once for uh, ejaculating too early. Five seconds I lasted. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> As a joke, I couldn't even get it erect. <laughs> Oh, fuck off, man. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're all here for fun. We're all here for laughter. We're not here to cancel anyone. So before further ado, we end this video. I love you all to bits. Subscribe to the channel. Get us to 80,000 by the end of the month. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.